welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to be showing you my new structure for Explorer Zeev, the thing that's been taking up a lot of my time, hence why I haven't been uploading as many building tutorials. So without further ado, let's investigate what this new stuff is. And in order to get a little bit of context, this is the normal Aurora Palace for Twilight Forest. You can see, looks kinda pretty on the outside. I mean, the blocks are definitely carrying the build with their nice animated gradient, and you know, it's generally quite nice to look at with all the sharp edges, but at the same time, it's a little basic, and then the inside is a complete mess. It's all of these various floors of chests and random pillars, not really any way to reasonably navigate it, especially when the walls are almost as hard as obsidian. So you can imagine actually trying to navigate this place. Hence why I decided to make my own version of it. Up here, we have the boss arena, but good luck finding it, and occasionally it won't even generate. So you have to magically know the right route through all of these towers. And considering the tiny entrances, I wouldn't be surprised if he got lost. So I made my own version of it, which I'm about to show. Now you have a general idea in your head what really prompted me to build this. So for the past month of my life, I've been inside this messy building area, been spending a while, but I have built this, the new Aurora Palace. And of course, this took about a month to build of a lot of work and even using the structure gel API. So thanks to that, I'm going to be using that in my normal tutorials to make them a bit faster for me. And you can see, well, it's quite the complex structure because, well, I built everything here. Of course, I cloned various parts to speed up the time, such as the side towers, but it's all customized and it will have variants in the full release. So here we have a very complicated parkour. What you have to do is enable and disable various pieces of it in order to navigate. Of course, some routes are much easier than others, and there's a bit of a mercy system, although good luck getting out, because of course you can't swim up all the way. But essentially, you have to navigate this place and understand the physics of castle doors. So generally, something I'm quite proud of. And then if you go up through here, through the spiral staircase, then you end up on the second floor. And this one has a little bit of an ingenious tutorial. You can see that there is a maze stone here. And if you play Twilight Forest, you should know this stuff isn't going to be something you're breaking. And unless you have a maze breaker, you're going to spend incredibly large amounts of time. However, there's a little neat thing. Unstable Ice Cores, one of the mobs here, will convert nearby blocks into mineable things upon death. So, well, I'm going to demonstrate that in a moment, but you can see this whole place is pretty intricately designed by me. Of course, not to pat myself on the back too much, but I'm quite proud of this build. To spice up the treasure of this palace to make it, you know, not exactly a repeat of something like the Dark Tower or the Blinding Dungeons of Blue Skies, speaking of which, might as well have the same structure as that if it weren't for it looping back into itself. Well, we have the X puzzle here, and if you place an unstable ice core, I've made sure to place a couple set spawns around, then what you can do is kill it, and then, if you do it right, then you can convert the nearby stuff into breakable stuff. And you can see, now it's terracotta, and if I break this open, what do you know, I can access the chest inside. So I made sure to include that around in order to make this place a more interesting structure. You know, it's not a smash and grab anymore, kind of like pretty much any other dungeon in this mod pack. Now you actually have to perform puzzles made by me in order to get through all of it. Once you're able to get through this parkour here, then you go up into the middle, and then you find your first major room. Of course, it's still a slight work in progress for some parts. I mean, this is a little embarrassing right here. But anyways, this structure is in a showcaseable state and won't be changing terribly much from the final release. So I've decided to show it now. And in here, some complex parkour. 
Of course, you have to figure out first off, where am I going? So you know, always that little challenge. And then, jump up some things. Make sure that the stable ice cores don't absolutely destroy you, because I made sure to place a couple of those to make this unfairly difficult, um, normal. And then, if you can navigate through all of it, you get up to this crossroad section here, where you can either go to the left or right. Notice the color-coded doors, so that way, if the color changes, you know you're going further in. So, down here, with all these wrecked bridges, still gonna add a bit more. Then, you can go to the side towers, and this has even more parkour inside, and some of those X puzzles. So, now that you know what they are from the second floor, then you can start solving them. And this whole structure kinda diverges from there. Not to get ahead of myself too much with the yellow towers yet. Back in the middle, you'll notice that there are some various doors around here. So, these blue doors head off the side towers. This one is going to be a cage for a pinch beetle, because of course, those are complete monstrosities of mobs, so I had to include one one way or another. But then, in here, I've included a fancy little bridge. Notice, you have to jump across the glass here. And then when you open this door, what do you know? There's an ice core. So you have to be very careful, because if you don't have a shield, you'll get shot off. And if you're too quick, then you'll get shot. And you'll fall off. Of course, I actually missed a jump there, but the idea still stands. And then, into these side towers, they have their own little puzzles, whether they be battle arenas, or trying to figure out how to open this X trap. Because, of course, there's TNT in here. Unfortunately, there's a bunch of mobs in here that do not want you to get to that TNT. So you're gonna have to break that spawner, deal with the spawns up here, before you have to do all three of these at once. If you open all three at once, press this button here, TNT, and what do you know, loot. Once you're done with that one, you can go to this one. Of course, you don't have to do them in any order, and there's a chance that they won't even generate, considering there'll be several variants of these. This bridge is pretty evil because once you have the stable ice cores here, jumping across is almost definitely going to take you out, because you can't actually make this jump without getting hit. And, of course, there's two of them. Chances are, you're going to jump, get hit, and fall all the way down. Your best bet is to avoid them. And then, we have this battle arena here, and this one's also a bit evil. If you want that ironwood block, then you're going to have to activate this door. And that door is not a very friendly door. So, if you think you're brave enough to open this door and get that block of ironwood, go right ahead. And what do you know? you've been ambushed. So, made sure to include that in there, so that way you have to run around this tiny arena. And there's even some yetis here, which means if you try bypassing everything and going straight for the block, you're going to face a very, very tough encounter. So, have fun with that. I'd highly recommend defeating everything before opening that door, even though winter wolves are admittedly a little easy once you know how they attack. Still, they hit very hard. With the little blue towers handled, not exactly towers, but same idea. Then, the side towers. These are pretty simplistic structures, meant to provide a little character to the palace. You know, growing wheat, I'm using the special trees because they're special, etc. Nothing to talk about here besides the fact that there's more X puzzles in each of these. And then, once you make it to the top, you can enter the final piece. And, of course, another puzzle here. You know, not very important. And then, take the helix staircase up. Open these doors to check on the Witherstorm, make sure it's not chasing after you. And then, you can fight Snow Queen. But, be careful. If you skip right to the top and ignore this whole structure, you're going to have to deal with these spawners spawning the whole time. And that's not going to go very well if you leave them unattended. Especially since these ones spawn snow guardians. I can only imagine someone trying to do this, only to get ambushed by a couple snow guardians with knightly swords at the end and losing it all. So don't try cheesing this structure in that way. Because, of course, 
I added more anti-cheese in the form of wool platforms for stable ice cores to spawn on, so towering up is not an option. With all that out of the way, well, this is my new structure. Expect to see it in a patch or two for Explorer's Eve as all the smaller details are being figured out. But this is generally what it's going to look like. Before I cap off this video completely, well, you stuck around to the end. So I might as well show you a little easter egg in the structure. If you fall in the water here, and ignoring the freezing cold, then you can find a little secret. If you swim all the way through here, then there's a small room with a little chest for you. And this one will have a block of arctic fur. So that way, if you fall off the structure, you're okay. And then it gives you a shortcut because not only do you skip out on those staircases and parkour, but you go straight to the second floor without any of the hazards, such as wasting time around the wither storm. So overall, I hid a couple things in here. Perhaps there might be something hidden in the boss room, made sure to add some secret paths into these yellow rooms, specifically this one, where the leaves make a secret parkour across. But yeah, this is the new Aurora Palace for Explorer's Eve. And I know I'll probably be receiving this in the comments with the comparison. Yes, I showed this to the Twilight Forest devs, and they do not particularly want it because they already have their own concepts in place. So, of course, don't harass them over it. This is for Explorer's Eve in the meantime. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. And this means that my major project is over, and I'll slowly be moving back into more building tutorials once I finish up the rest of the Explorer's Eve series. So, enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw, out.